Don't forget to subscribe like this channel ok. Mazda's current CX-9 crossover has long been a favorite among our staff but the larger and more prem. EM 2024 CX-93 Row SUV is poised to move the company's biggest SUV further up the luxury mountain. The CX-90 has debuted with a new turbocharged 3.3-liter inline-6 engine, making either 280 or 340 horsepower, as well as a plug-in hybrid powertrain option. Mazda's premium aspirations are on full display here with range-topping variants of the three-row eight-seater offering more luxury features than the brand's current crop of SUVs. Its styling is handsome, and the CX-90's cabin design borrows cues from the smaller CX-50 and MX-30 SUVs. The all-new architecture that the CX-90 is built on is expected to also spawn a two-row SUV named CX-70, which should go on sale shortly after the CX-90. The CX-90 is a new nameplate for the Mazda brand that will replace the CX-9 when it goes on sale in spring 2023 as a 2024 model. We're most enamored by the new inline-6 in its top S tune which pumps out 340 horsepower. The S model also comes well equipped with niceties such as second-row captain's chairs, a 12-speaker Bose stereo system, interior ambient lighting, 21-inch wheels, a panoramic sunroof a hands-free power lift gate, and more. The CX-90 is the first Mazda to use a new turbocharged 3.3-liter inline-six engine that is augmented by a 48-volt hybrid system. Mazda says the powertrain is good for 280 horsepower in non-S trims and 340 in S trims. An inline-six cylinder engine is a hallmark of SUVs such as the BMW X5 and the Land Rover Range Rover Sport signaling Mazda's desire to move its brand even more toward the premium end of the market. A plug-in hybrid variant is also offered. Using the same 323 horsepower setup used in the European market CX-60 SUV, comprised of an inline four-cylinder engine, an electric motor, and a 17.8 kilowatt-hour battery pack. All models come with an eight-speed automatic transmission and, much like the rest of the Mazda SUV lineup, the CX-90 has all-wheel drive standard. During our initial test drive, we sampled both the plug-in hybrid and the top-spec S model, both of which offered plenty of power for city and highway driving. The 340 horsepower inline-6 is particularly smooth, but we weren't satisfied with the lagginess of the steering wheel-mounted paddle shifters and found it best to let the 8-speed automatic shift for itself. At our test track, the CX-90 with the inline-6 hit 60 miles per hour in 6, 3 seconds but exhibited some unrefined sounds that don't match the engine's otherwise smooth-running nature. The FEV model surprised us with a roarty exhaust note and when running on electric-only power it scooted the big CX-90 along in traffic without needing to activate the four-cylinder gas engine. Both delivered refined road manners with the athleticism Mazdas are known for. The plug-in hybrid model comes with a 17.8 kilowatt-hour battery pack that's good for an EPA-estimated 26 miles of electric driving per charge. Charging at home on a 120-volt outlet will replenish the battery in a lengthy time frame, so that it'd be best left for overnight charging. But Mazda says just an hour and a half on a 240-volt connection will be enough to charge the battery from 20 to 80 percent full. The EPA has not released fuel economy estimates for the plug-in hybrid CX-90 model yet, but the inline-6 is rated for up to 24 miles per gallon city and 28 miles per gallon highway. On our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy route, the CX-90 with the inline-6 managed a 29 mile per gallon result. The plug-in hybrid powertrain will likely be more efficient and is good for 26 miles of electric driving per charge according to the EPA. For more information about the CX-90s, to accompany its upscale exterior, Mazda has endowed the CX-90 with a stylish cabin design that features room for up to 8 passengers. Opt for the second row captain's chairs and the total seating drops to 7. The fabric dashboard upholstery in the high-end models looks striking and the seats in those trims are also wrapped in soft Nappa leather. Base select trims are less plush but no less handsomely styled. Although leather is standard starting on the preferred trim, 
The more upscale and buttery looking Napa leather upholstery is reserved for premium plus trims. A 10.3 or larger 12.3 inch infotainment display is nestled into the dashboard and controlled via a click wheel on the CX90 center console. Mazda's latest infotainment interface is easy to navigate and relatively intuitive. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard, and we expect that there will be wireless connectivity for both. The CX90 lower trims feature a 7.0-inch digital gauge display and an 8-speaker stereo system. A larger 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster is optional, as is a 12-speaker Bose premium stereo. All CX90s come with a suite of driver assistance features called iActive Sense which includes automated emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, and more. For more information about the CX90's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Mazda offers an adequate protection plan for buyers of new CX90s. Thank you for those who have subscribed and like this channel.